history of the windmill. Now, crazy name is the inventor, but he didn't call it a windmill. Continuous backspin. The reason why he called it continuous backspin is because he would do a backspin and try to do a chair freeze from his backspin. When he would spin and pop out into a chair, he would actually fall because he couldn't hit the chair freeze, over rotate, do it again, fall, over rotate, do it again, fall, and then it created the windmill because it looked like he was continuously spinning on his back. He was going back, push over, back spin, push over, back spin, push over, back spin, which created the windmill. Wind windmills eventually evolved, of course, um, from the continuous back spin. Because you can actually do a continuous backspin without doing a full windmill. You know, you do a backspin, you try to catch to a freeze, you fall back to a backspin again. Um, and then later it became head mills, and then what we call airplanes, and then what we call handcuffs. You know, all these different windows came out of that move and evolved. I don't know who um, kind of took them to the next level. You know, I, I'm not really sure. That we can look up and try and find out. That's how it started off of a backspin. Any other questions?